was hungry, now when the game turned greedy Was known to be needy, now was people that need me Battling up the dead because I'm What's up everybody, how you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street Week 8 of the Atlanta Falcons on the mobile going up against the Arizona Cardinals They have Ryan Lindley as their starting quarterback in the last week the Bucks had Mike Kafka, and a new term was invented. It was Mike Kafka this, you know, doing good, acting like Brady, when you really not. Only can happen on all Madden. But this game, man, I really tried to run the ball a lot more. I didn't feel like throwing any any more picks, and unfortunately, I do right here. You know, I, you know, I can't. I don't know what to do anymore. I got to figure out some way to effectively pass the ball. I did some screens. I did some runs out of the strong close, and I cut their possession out because they couldn't do anything with my defense. You can see right here, though, the screen, I got to get better at running that. Um, I don't know how I can't run the screen effectively. You know what I'm saying? I pass it to the tight end most of the times and to the flats because that's, like, the safest area of the field. You really can't get, like, some sort of speed boost uh, towards the ball in the flats. The worst thing that could happen is that you could get no yards. So it's basically... Passing to the flats in the passing play is kind of like a running play. Um, you can get short amount of yardage, or if they don't react quick enough, you can get probably a first down or some, uh, you know, decent yardage on the play. But you can see, man, I'm just moving the ball right now. I'm doing screens, doing run plays, mostly out of the strong close. I pass it, and I didn't show the adjustment right there. I saw the cornerback was backed up, so I put Roddy White on one of those smoke routes, and I tried to throw the... The, I tried to throw the go, you know. I tried to throw it to Julio Jones, but Matt Ryan underthrows it a little bit, and Patrick Peterson gets his interception. So, you know, it's tied zero to zero in the second quarter. Thirty-three yards, two interceptions from Matt Ryan, only a fifty-five or fifty-something pass completion, and I don't know what that was. I didn't feel like clicking on Desmond Trufant. Because I knew something dumb would have happened if I would have clicked on him. So I don't click on him if something dumb still happens, man. But William Moore, he's trying to make up for it. Get a big hit right there. And we end up getting a sack with the D-line of the Atlanta Falcons. So something must be going on. Um, as, as I said before, man, D-line is really like the deciding factor. D-line and O-line. If you have a good of both, you're probably going to be a successful team. And uh, they kick the field goal and they drive. So we get the ball back. We coming out. We trying to score. Get down the field. And it seems like the passes, we always moving the ball. I see Harry Douglas getting. I don't know how he got separation. How he didn't get bumped. I don't know. But we end up catching the ball. And we score a touchdown off of that. So it's a long touchdown run to Harry Douglas. And it's been pretty good. So I'm trying to call some timeouts right quick. Just so I can probably get the ball back. And of course I don't stop them for a loss or at least no game. We end up getting third and inches. Everything is covered. He throws it downfield and of course I drop that interception. But I guess it didn't really matter because on fourth and inches they punted. And now I do get the ball but it's after halftime. And I'm trying to move the ball down the field. And Devin Hester gets the catch over the middle. Was completely surprised by that. <laughs> He really drops a lot of passes, and I still do the screen right here, and the blockers, they're not quick enough. And I ran too quick, holds the RT button too much, and we pass it to Bear Pasco again. He's a beast. You know what I'm saying? He can block. He can catch a little bit. He can do a lot of things. I try to throw it in the end zone. I, you know, that's three. That's three interceptions. Kamardi has two. Kamardi's actually a tough corner, though. I do like Kamardi. If he wouldn't have went to the Falcons, I would have definitely liked him. He used to play on the Jets. And um, he's tough, man. I do like Antonio Kamardi. Um, I, I wish he would have had him. Right now, we got, like, we released Asante Samuel. I didn't know why. I never figured out why. But we only have, like, Desmond Trufant and Robert Alford that played last year. We did pick up Javier Xavier Arenas or something like that. It's probably Xavier. I don't know why I said Javier. But, um, you know, it's tough. So it's 7-3 to three still in the third quarter. And none of y'all offenses can score. We pass the Julio, but he gets hawked by Antonio Camardi. So Antonio Camardi has the speed to do that. And look at Jaquiz Rogers running over two defenders, staying up to get another big game. And here's where I started... I started moving the ball a lot 
more efficiently. I started to move it, and you can see I'm using motion. If you don't use motion, um, there's something about motion that, that actually really works a lot. Um, if you motion on run plays, you can get to trick the defense. You also get to uh, have more blockers on one side of the play. So it makes a lot of sense to begin motioning in a lot of your running plays and start building schemes off of the motion because it just helps the offense out a lot more. I started moving the, um, rushing the ball a lot more efficiently when I started motioning in this game. And it probably led to how I'm up right now. I'm up 14 to three. I know my defense has been playing good. Um, Ryan Lindley trying to Mike Kafka us, but we end up getting the pick right there. It was a nice interception. I don't know how I caught it because I usually drop everything when I'm wide open, but you know, I catch it right on top of a wide receiver. And um, that time we motioned out the wide receiver to the left, so we ran it to the right. Ended up getting sacked on like third down. We go for it on fourth and 15. We launch it down the field. Matt Ryan with the great accuracy. Haven't seen Ryan Lindley overthrow a pass this game, but Matt Ryan does because it's all automatic. We over here smacking people though. My man South Ward coming up from the safety, safety position to make the tackle and they pass it to the flats and end up getting a touchdown. So we come out, man. Julio getting one-handed grabs and gets injured after that. He must have hurt his hand or something. But you see, we do move. We motion the fullback out and he picks up the safety. But if Roddy White could have held on to that block just a little bit longer, we probably could have got further outside. And this is where we do get outside after motioning the wide receiver to get an extra block on the line of scrimmage. So it's definitely, definitely something that you should add to your offense, to your run plays, is motioning and building the scheme off of that. And I know against against players online, against the actual person, when they see the same motion, they're going to definitely think it's the same play, um, especially if you've been having success with it. And that's how it's going to be. You see, I do the screen play, the quiz, barely... Got in the touchdown, but he got in there, man. But the blocking was nice. One blocker actually held up two people. And we get a big hit fumble from William Moore. The ball flew like five yards back. That hit was big. I guess he just wanted to throw the ball away or something. But here we go. We motion again. Jaquiz is breaking a lot of tackles. And he got injured earlier in this game, but he did come back. And we start in the wild. Now it's 22 to 11. And we both went to, for two and actually got it. But, you know, motioning, man, it's it's good. I run out of bounds to try to get another play in. And this is the next play, the last play of the game. We throw it up to Roddy White. He catches it. Had no idea he was going to catch it. But we don't get the touchdown. And that was the end of the game right there. We end up beating the Arizona Cardinals 22-11. to It was a nice game, man. So, you know, I'm trying to get back up, man. I'm trying to get a couple more wins. In the season, back to back, so we get on a roll, trying to go in the season with the best record in the NFC South. But um, like I said before, man, if you don't have the motion stuff, just motion like any random stuff. Just have it in the offense is definitely going to help you out in the rushing game. But um, this video is coming to an end, so always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.